Hi and welcome to the session. The question states, if G is equal to having elements 7 and 8 and H is equal to having elements 5, 4 and 2, find G cross H and H cross G. So, for this we must know that if there are P elements in set A and Q elements in set B then there will be PQ elements in A cross B. Right. So it says that if number of elements in set A are D and number of elements in set B is equal to Q, then number of elements in A cross B will be equal to P. Q. Right. Now here this key idea will be helping us in proceeding on with our solution because if you observe in the question carefully there are few elements in set G and few elements in set H and we need to find out G cross H and H cross G. So this key idea will be helping us in our solution. Now here let us write down the elements in set G once again and elements in set H once again. Now to find out G cross H we'll be writing the ordered pairs and it will be such that the first element belongs to G and the second element belongs to set H. Right? So here the answer will be 7, 5, 7, 4, 7, 2. Right? And then 8, 5, 8, 4, and 8, 2. So these are the six ordered pairs in G cross H. Now we need to find out H cross G also. Now it will be the first element belongs to H and the second element of the ordered pair belongs to G. So it will be 5, 7, 5, 8, 4, 7, 4, 8, 2, 7, 2, 8. Right. So this is how we can find out G cross H and also H cross G. So I hope you enjoyed the session. Take care. Bye for now.